Hey guys, um, I'm going to uh, teach you about PyGal. Originally going to go into like how to play the game, but to understand the game, it's probably a good idea to understand you know the tiles and exactly how everything here works. Uh, here we have a set of Chinese dominoes. Uh, there are 32 of them to a set, and right now I have them arranged in pairs. Right, and uh, we we basically have them set from from high to low. You know, this being the highest pair. Right. Uh, my Chinese is horrible, so I'll just, you know, in English it just means supreme pair, so I'll just say that. And, and then it goes into all these identical pairs up until here. You'll notice here we have some tiles that are not identical, but they are still pairs, like, you know, these two nines, these two eights, all right, and then these two sevens, these two fives. All right, so and with that, then you know, you'll know be able to understand, you know, you'll be able to understand the game a little bit better uh, after this video. Um, here you'll notice that uh, you know, we do have sixes, but they're, they're of different styles. So, but everything's already paired up. Um, you know, so as a pair, these two tiles together beat anything else, and then these two would be the next powerful, and it goes all the way down to the mixed five, which is, even if it's the lowest pair, it's also still very, uh, very strong. Also, uh, part of this, you know, part of this game are uh, are uh, special combinations called uh, wongs and gongs. What it is? It's like any t any two or twelve domino with a nine makes up a wong. It's not as strong as a pair, but it's pretty close. All right, the next from there combinations called gongs. which are a two or a 12 and an eight. So with, with your hand, if you're, not a, if you're not able to make a pair or one of these, then the object of the game is to get as close to nine as possible. Still confused? That's okay. I'll, I'll go over all the basics in this series so that you'll know how to play Pi Gal.